Which software is better between the Nikon NX Studio versus the DxO Photo Lab 8? Now, to compare, we need to do two important things. First of all, I'm not going to do any kind of um, serious editing. All I'm going to do is just export the image from respective software if this video is very helpful to you until this point then i highly appreciate your help if you go down into description below and click in the links necessary in order to chip in some money for coffee so that i can make more videos for you and for myself as well and thank you for watching this video with minimum to no edit what do i mean for instance let me show you in photo lab i'm going to apply a preset which is going to be neutral for example a neutral color or natural color i'm confused between those two let's say i'm going to pick natural so make sure the color remains i guess um, uh, natural but then i'm probably going to change my mind because the i'm going to go back to nikon and then I will probably going to change the the picture profile ah, neutral so I'm going to keep both neutral so I'm going to select neutral here and I'm going to go back to DxO photo lab and I'm going to select the same the neutral color so they're both neutral obviously it's going to be different neutral now second thing I'm going to do is to make sure that I'm, I turn off the smart lighting off the, the probably the contrast off same um, the HSL I'm probably going to turn this one off too essentially I'm going to make sure that everything is off except the neutral color and the raw I don't think it's going to change much on and off it doesn't really matter uh, then the lens correction I'm going to keep just the high quality to make sure that because it's a 1000 ISO but very bright color so I don't think we need prime so high quality is sufficient in my opinion but to double check we could double check with the loop tool but I don't think it's necessary and uh, chromatic aberration the lens softness and probably the unsharp mask then distortion correction now here's the thing i'm using a tamron lens which is the non-native nikon lens so unfortunately nikon nx studio is not going to do any kind of lens correction here because they don't support any third-party lenses that's a shame unfortunately so i cannot do much so just to be fair i'm going to turn off distortion i'm going to turn off cropping as well and then i'm going to uh, export it but one thing i'm kind of confused so that whether i should use the prime but i think it's not fair because it's going to make it look probably too sharp using its algorithm so high quality is probably the standard version then I'm going to export the best quality available on my desktop if this video is very helpful to you until this point then I highly appreciate your help if you go down into description below and click in the links necessary in order to chip in some money for coffee so that I can make more videos for you and for myself as well and thank you for watching this video now we're going to go to the nikon nx studio we already selected the neutral color then we're going to scroll down make sure that only and only good thing about the nikon nx studio is that that it reads all the actual um this camera settings which is a fantastic thing and um, active delighting the original value which is always what's in the camera not going to touch any curves not going to touch any um, 
LCH. By the way, if you're looking for my Nikon NX Studio tutorial, it's um, available in my playlist. So noise reduction method faster. Mm, pa, 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 pa. Color booster, should I? I don't think it's necessary. Yeah, it's not necessary because it's not an in-camera settings. Uh, noise reduction original value. So it's not but in the method faster. Well, better quality. Why not better quality? Because you know the high um, in 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 DXO the high quality is not that bad. It's actually pretty good if you don't have too much noise. So why not? So age noise reduction, the astro noise reduction not necessary. The sharpening I'll in. Uh, so here I have the sharpness on. Now question is that should I turn on the sharpness? So original value. Sharpness on or off? I'm mm, I'm not sure. What I'm going to do actually, I'm going to just turn off the sharpness of uh, Photoshop. Photoshop, sorry. DXO. And then re-export because uh, otherwise it's not really fair in my opinion override so both of them will not have any kind of sharpness available except the lens softness correction as a matter of fact come to think of it you know the lens softness compensation might make it look still sharper than the Nikon one but my objective here so just to be clear our objective is to make sure that how close they both look if you um, export from respective software and you know how close they come to each other without any correction so i'm going to export now here and then export as jpeg make sure it's the best quality resolution 300 dpi then 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 then, then same folder in original specific folder browse desktop select folder I don't know if I can rename it change file names naming option original name new name so NX studio okay and then I'm going to export it so all I did is the basic noise reduction. I did not touch any kind of sharpness. I did not touch any kind of uh, specific editing. It just uh, should be straight out of the camera kind of uh, kind of uh, image. So our objective is to double check which one has a better quality or you know uh, objectively better quality image. So I'm going to close both I have to make sure that if I selected the image that which is the same one yeah that's they're both same that is done now where is my image while you're watching this video please don't forget to comment in the description below in the comment section below to share your opinions now here are both of our image side by side let me let you guess which one is what. All right, I'm going to tell you right now. So I'm going to select both of them side by side. Like that. Side by side. Now, one on the left is the image from Nikon NX Studio. 
one from the right is the DxO version of it. Now, right up the top, you see a couple of things interesting. When it comes to color, they both look reasonably, uh, reasonably, you know, uh, neutral. However, if we remember that in DxO, I did turn everything on. However, I think that because of the lens softness compensation, the uh, DxO looks much cleaner. So I am going to turn this one off and export again, exact same thing, to make sure that they both are exactly neutral and there are no manipulation because of the sharpness. So now I should have two images available. There you go, finally. They both should be equal in terms of sharpness. Now we have two images side by side. Again, left from the NX Studio, right from DxO. What do you think? The Nikon looks neutral. However, when it comes to sharpness around my palm, DxO looks much nicer, clean. If this video is very helpful to you until this point, then I highly appreciate your help. If you go down into description below and click in the links necessary in order to chip in some money for coffee so that I can make more videos for you and for myself as well. And thank you for watching this video. And the NX Studio looks a little bit less sharp, which I believe that can be fixed with the sharpness slider. But interestingly, even though I turned every single sharpness off in DxO, it still kinda uh, made it look quite nice and sharp. I don't know if it's the algorithm, but they both look same. If you compare the blur area, they both look exactly the same. If I zoom in about 100%, because remember it's a very high resolution image, the DxO looks much cleaner with more detail than the Nikon NX Studio. However, the blur area, the bokeh area, Nikon NX Studio looks much cleaner and the DxO looks a bit more grainy, but remember that I did not use any kind of prime noise reduction. I only used the high quality to have an equal comparison. So if you use the prime or deep prime, then result would be much, 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 much better. I promise you that. So yeah, that my take on DxO Photolev versus the Nikon NX Studio when it comes to the image quality. I did not get into the detail, obviously you can go into the details, but right off the bat, the DxO without any kind of further editing looks much better than the Nikon NX Studio, but for a free Software Nikon NX Studio is extraordinary and excellent and very neutral color. Let's finish it with another thing. See that the blue in the sky looks much natural blue in Nikon than kind of purple in uh, DxO. So the color is much more neutral in a DxO. That's for sure. Uh, sorry, NX Studio. That's for sure because it's natural blue than the DxO version. So if you care about the neutral, pure color, then NX Studio is your go-to, then the DxO, in my opinion. Let me know what you think. That's my little uh, 
weekend spending time comparing two softwares. Hope to see you soon. Bye bye.